Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to be looking at my European night crawlers. It's been a week since I checked on them and I fed them some jackfruit. And if you recall, these are just European nightcrawler hatchlings. And so I want to see if the jackfruit was able to attract the vast majority of them so that I can see how they're doing and how much of them is in there. I'm not going to be counting them, of course, but just to have a rough idea of what's going on with them, see how they have grown, if they're doing okay and things like that so and let's see if they need any moisture i did wet the bin oh i see the tail end of one trying to run away right there right there i did moisten this bin a few days ago well a week ago when i did an update and the material is already pretty dry on the surface and that's the thing with Saskatchewan everything dries out quickly which is one of the advantages of having one of the advantages of having um, a deep worm bin in this province because it can retain the moisture longer this bin however that I have here it does not have holes in the bottom because I don't really overwater the bin I can see another little lively one there I try to give the bin just enough moisture that it needs to keep the worms going. So now I'm just digging down to see if I can find that jackfruit. I don't expect that it would be all eaten up. That's not bad. Let's see, what length are you? Uh, almost two inches. They were so tiny when I got them. Oh, yes, I felt the mushy stuff. So I know the jackfruit is right here. And look, yes, I can see they're gathering. Oh yeah, there is one. Oh. I want to go down in there. I still hate the idea of disturbing them. They're having their fun in there. But I want to see what's going on. But I have to be careful because if I just take out and take the worms away, then I want to get to see them together to see how they're doing. So I'm just going to lift the jackfruit out. Okay, that one is a bit over two inches. There are quite a few of them gathering down in the bottom there. They're looking quite active, so that's good. Oh, let's turn this over. On the bottom of the jackfruit there, you see quite a lot of them. So that is good. Oh, the jackfruit is breaking down. Look at the amount of them on this little tiny piece of jackfruit. Yeah, they're about a sixteenth of an inch wide at the moment. Although it doesn't look that way on camera, they seem to be bigger on the camera. And I would say an average of two to two and a half inches in length look at that oh yeah baby that's what i'm talking about okay so i can say that they are doing 
okay and if you remember when i put this oh look at that so much more of them oh wow yeah i like that that one is big though it's about three inches okay so as i was saying if you recall when i put this jackfruit in here it had that stringy section to it if for those of you are familiar with jackfruit it has a lot of strings that are about two to three inches long that is attached to the skin and this is the skin of the jackfruit so all of that stringy portion is gone so i'm saying oh they're eating pretty fast so now what is left is just about a quarter inch of the skin so they're doing pretty good actually these guys seem to be ferocious eaters but that's what my sister has been saying which is pretty good so i know that i can feed these guys quite a lot uh, let's see I don't know if that is gonna last them for a week it could because it's a harder section of the food scraps that I gave them than the soft tissue that they already had so maybe I'm just going to give them a little bit of food but then all of what is in here they have a lot of food because they have the bedding and they have some finished compost and stuff so yeah i'll just let them work on what is there i'm not going to feed them anything else for now in a week i will check back to see if the jackfruit is finished and then i will feed them at that point in time i think i'm going to be adding just a bit of a bit more water to the bin so i'm just going to cover them over sorry little buddies but i had to disturb you in order to see how you're doing so i can know how to take care of you since says this is my first time raising european night crawlers and my sister is going to be visiting me in a few weeks if all is well and she's going to be bringing me some more european night crawler eggs Thankfully, this time it won't have to spend two months in transit. And then I think with those eggs that she's going to be bringing me, I'm going to be starting a separate European Nightcrawler worm bin because the amount of worms that I have in here for this size bin, which is about a foot wide, a foot deep, or almost a foot deep, maybe 10 inches deep, and a foot and a half long. I think the amount of night crawlers that I have in here is enough for this bin. I might have to separate them as soon as they become adults so that they can have the space. So I'm not going to be putting the eggs I get from her in here. I'm going to be creating a separate bin for that. Okay, so let's get these guys some water. I am not going to be giving them a lot because it still is somewhat moist in here so I don't want to make the bin too moist okay so that should take care of moisture for them for a few days I'm going to be checking back on them in about three to four days to see just to monitor the moisture content because it dries out very easily and now i'm just going to be covering them back up you know maybe i should moisten down the paper too that i'm covering them with because that will help to keep in more of the moisture Okay, so I'm going to be adding a little bit more moisture to this bin. 
Okay, so damp on the paper. That should be enough. And I'm going to be putting a thick sheet of paper on top of this. Just to help to keep in the moisture. Okay, so now I am satisfied. It's, the, it's my daughter's drawing. <laughs> okay, so that is it guys I'm gonna be putting this back on the shelf so I'm quite satisfied with all my worms are doing they're growing pretty fast because it is about five weeks since I started this worm bin and they have grown a little over twice the size that they were some of them were just eggs so we're gonna see how long it takes them to reach to adulthood and start laying their eggs how long it's gonna take for me to start seeing hatchlings in there so I'm giving them three months because that's how long they usually say it takes for worms to become adults but sometimes it can happen faster than three months so we'll see how that goes that is our update for today if you really enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like these then please take a moment to hit that subscription button give me a thumbs up leave a comment in the section below and please don't forget to turn on your notification thank you for watching and have yourself a lovely day